that symbol is an isolator and and that symbol is a circuit breaker so the minute you get a, a symbol like what we just saw where you've got an x and an n to the line it is both can fulfill the function of both being an isolator and a circuit breaker so so in that sign on that symbol on the circuit breaker we've got a section that looks like that and then it runs down it's got a little square indicator and then it's got a half circle so so that's what it looks like this is broken down into into two components the top component is is what it is and the bottom component is how it works the the top section tells you that listen this is both a circuit breaker and an isolator and the bottom section tells you what it does this is the iec symbol for for circuit breaker which means that it will trip on overload and that is a symbol that looks at thermal protection so what that sign says is that this is a circuit breaker and an isolator thermal and an overload function if we look at that and we look on the right hand side we'll see we'll see a one a two a three and a four so so one and two works together that would be one and that would be two that would be three and that would be four so in this example both poles are protected you get from this manufacturer you get a different one where just the one would be protected and the other one would just be see there's no cross on top so the second pole on the right hand side does not have a circuit breaker function it would still have a lever that goes across both poles but all this is telling us is that you would fit your live on one and two and you would fit your neutral on O1 and O2. The dash line in between means that the toggle is connected and if the one trips, the other one is going to trip. So then we've got single pole, one pole plus a neutral. We have a two pole, we have a three pole, and we have a three pole plus a neutral. These, these are also sold as four pole units. 